So shooters and reloaders, it's Fortune Cookie 45LC coming to you from the hot lead zone. And we're going to take our nice RCBS 45 caliber 300 FN, that's flat nose, gas check design, cast bullets. We're going to go ahead and load them up. There's the mold right there. We're going to load them up and shoot them in our 4570 with a kind of a moderate load of unique powder and uh, get us a load that will shoot like 22 long rifle velocity but with 300 grain bullets. Should be pretty effective round. Obviously since reloading videos are taboo on YouTube we'll just go ahead and skip that. So first we're going to shoot these 4570 rounds loaded with 12.7 grains of unique and a 300 grain cast bullet. So there you see the velocities for the five shots with that 300 grain bullet and 12.7 grains of unique. The average was 1245 feet per second and a standard deviation of only 9.2. So you see the spread was 23 feet per second. That's a pretty good performing load. And here's the 25 yard target. That was the very first shot out of a cold barrel. And the other four are grouped in here, so effectively the group is about that large or about an inch and a half at 25 yards. That load is a very good load for general purpose and could also be used for taking small deer or even hogs over blinds or stands. Very useful load for the 4570. 1245 feet per second with a 300 grain bullet. That, uh, that's very capable ammunition. Let's split some playing cards with a 4570 offhand at 12 and a half yards. Split these two playing cards. Okay, splitting playing cards with the 4570. I don't know where it's zeroed at 12 and a half yards offhand, but here we go.
Well, the first shot on the left hand target, I shot a little high, expecting it to shoot a little low, hit right on point of aim. So on the right hand target, I uh, went ahead and shot that one dead center and we got car splits there on two shots, two for two looks like. Well, I must say cleaning the Encore 4570 was a snap. Must have fired about 40 rounds of uh, lead bullet loads today. And because the bullets fit fine and the right hardness of BHN 18, the uh, ammo shot well, shot clean, easy to clean up afterwards. Uh, Ed's Red was all I needed along with a 50 caliber brush six times through the barrel and it was clean. Then basically you wipe everything down and it was done. Now today at the range there was this gentleman shooting a 20 gauge shotgun with uh, slugs. And he was saying to me that his shoulder was getting sore. So I showed him a 4570 round and first thing he said was, oh, elephant gun. Well, I didn't want to have to correct him because the 4570 is a little light for elephant. But the 4570 was designed for this country to use because it can take anything on the North American continent and do it well. So the 4570 did that actually. All of you shooters and reloaders out there have a nice fourth and a 4570 with 300 grain bullets is a pretty fun package. Very nice rig if you have one of those. Bye for now.